through a line of any length, found the center, pause this in between as you do these steps. There's the center. Then we drew a circle with radius of five with the drawing compass. Here's the circle radius of five. We went to where that intersects with, that circle intersects with this line. That's the center of this circle, which has a radius of two. Set your drawing compass to two. There's a radius of two. Now what we're looking for is we're looking for a place along this circle, which will give us a side length, you know, like one of these. It's got to go somewhere, some direction. From that point to the edge of the circle will give a side length of two. But we also need to have from this point up to here a side length of six. So if this larger circle is a radius of six, and the smaller circle is a radius of two from this point, from that center out to this circle, and from this intersection of the line with the first five centimeter circle to here, that gives us sides of six and two. So draw that in so you have a triangle that has of sides of five and six and two. So in this case here, all of us should have s triangles that have six, five, and two as side lengths. Yes? Yeah. Does yours look like the person next to you? Or somewhere else in the room? So that's the $10,000 question. Is yours congruent to somebody else's in the room? Who's? Everyone. They should all be congruent. One might be a reflection of the other depending upon which way you went. You know, you could put that two in the other direction. And you could have come over to this side and it'd just be like a reflection. So like we could turn that into a kite now, right? But we're not going to. We're not going to. We're just going to try them. It's all about trying them. It's all about triangles, you guys. Everything is about triangles. It's so, it's so cool when we start getting this. And you start, we start going with this now. This is where math, geometric math, it's all about triangles. Because with triangles, you can make practically anything. And you can do calculations. And you can base your calculations from a triangle on all, I can't raise the other arm, but all kinds of other things. You just go and go. Starting yeah. Okay, so in this case here, what we have is we have three sides that are the same. And what we call that is side, side, side. SSS. SSS. The conditions are side, side, side. So then is side, side, side a sufficient condition to say that two triangles are congruent? If mine is the same as yours yeah. with lengths, yes. then it is. If you draw a 3, 4, 5, and I draw a 3, 4, 5, are they congruent? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you're doing proofs and you have something over here, which is a 3, 4, 5, and then something else in the picture that's a 3, 4, 5, you can say that they're congruent figures because of side, side, side. So that's capital S, capital S, capital S. Uh, is it a theorem? I think it is. Or is it a sufficient condition? I think it's a sufficient condition. I think it's in the pocket as a theorem. Is it in there as a is it in there as a theorem? Yeah. Pretty sure. It yeah, is. it's a yeah, it's called a, it's called side 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 congruence theorem. 
Okay, so we're just drawing now. Okay, now another place. Draw another line. Does it matter how long? No, it doesn't matter how long. I make mine big. I don't know, you don't need a whole page. Squeeze it in. We can make this one smaller, bigger. You can make this the size of the room if you want. So what I'd like you to do is draw a line, pick a point. Give it a name. Call it point A. And now I'd like you, without any questions of me, to just do the following. And the only restrictions I have is to do what I ask you to do. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of geometry like. So what I would like you to do is I would like you to draw segment AB perpendicular to the line, if I call that line M. So I'd like you to now draw AB perpendicular to M. So you need a drawing compass, or a, a protractor, right? You can construct it, but I don't mind the measuring. Mark point B at the end of your segment. Point A. There's a 90 degree angle. drawing a triangle. The triangle is going to be triangle ABC. And AB is going to be perpendicular to AC. But here's what we got to do. We have to draw angle ABC and it has to be set up to be a 50 degree angle. Fifty five zero. And then I want you to fill in that remaining angle. Trust you all good at 90, 50, 40 degrees. All of them at the same angle. Is yours congruent to your neighbor's? Yeah. Is yours congruent to everybody else's in the room? Yeah. Really? Congruent means same size and shape. If you don't remember that, write it down. <laughs> yeah, like regular polygon. You don't remember it, write it down. Yeah, regular Yeah. circle is the same angle measures and the same side lines throughout. Are they congruent? No. No, you can make this thing the size of Texas. Maybe. Texas is part of it, pretty flat. Flatter in Kansas. Kansas is flatter than a pen. It is. Yeah. yeah. If you took Kansas and you took the actual curvature of the state, it is flatter than the curvature of a pancake if you took a pancake and blew it up to the size of Kansas. Or a big pancake. That'd be a big pancake, yeah. <laughs> so that that has angle, angle, angle. A, A, A. 
A, 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 capital A, capital A, capital A. It sounds like a book that we used to read our kids. Big A, little A, 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 A. Aunt Annie's alligator. A, A, A. So, is this sufficient? No, make note of that. Angle, angle, angle is not a sufficient condition. It's sufficient for similarity, but we don't care about similarity right now. We can care about congruence. Because we want to be able to say something is the same size and shape, not just the same angle. All right, one more. Another one? Another one. Oh, it's going to be size of section. No. No, this one's going to have a limit in size. You only need about this much space. Size of a deck of cards. So I'm going to again create a little tick mark on a line. Doesn't matter where. Doesn't matter where. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw a ray that intersects line M. And that ray is going to be at a 75 degree angle. So this is why we taught you how to do this stuff in 6th and 7th grade. There's a ray, which is going to become a side of a triangle. Part of it will. Maybe label your angle. Call this A. So now what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to mark off so that AC is four and a half centimeters and AB is three centimeters. Whoops, that's a three. Three centimeters. And then I want you to turn this thing into a triangle ABC. So you decide where C is and where B is. And we'll find out if you put B and C in the right places. You got to create C somewhere, right? And B somewhere. And 75 is an interior angle of the triangle. Sorry, I should have told you that as well. So 75 is an interior angle. That's what mine looks like. I don't know, yours might not look that way. Right 
Does the drawers look like your neighbors? Is it congruent? Are they congruent? Yeah. 75 degrees. Ooh, yours is not. Unless it is a 75, I don't know. He made it 70. Oh, dang. <laughs> So yeah? Yeah? Yeah. ASA. Yeah? ASA. Yeah? That's fine. You you can you can take any isometry and apply it to a figure, and then you will have a congruent figure, right? Sort of, yeah. Sort of. So this here, this is. There's another vocabulary that term that comes from this one. Something that we use. ASA. So this is an example of a side. How so? Pay attention. A side, then an angle, and then a side. So as you travel around the figure, you go down a side, you get an angle, and then you go up the other side. That's the given information, side, angle, side. If side, angle, side is given, and it's the same in two different figures, they are congruent. If side, side, side is given, we just travel around, right? Orientation doesn't matter. You have congruent figures. If angle, angle, angle is given, no. So in this case here, this is what's called an included angle. Included. It's included inside of the two sides. We have conditions where we don't have included angles, like side, side, angle. That's a very, that's a unique situation that comes up later on in the chapter. We never have angle side side. Remember that one. Ask Eli if there's a sufficient condition of ASS. He likes that one. <laughs> He's got a big job. He's <laughs> <laughs> <It's> funny. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, yeah, Eli, he, he was arguing that that was a sufficient condition a few years ago, and it, it became a very hilarious argument in the class. <laughs> it was a big class. Yeah. Angle, side, angle. Angle, side, side. Angle, side, side won't work. Not without unique situations. But let's see. Does that take care of all of them? Uh, one through eight, it does. I think it does. Um, I, I want to angle side angle. Yeah, that, that gets to be a tricky one, and that comes up later, so we don't have to hit that one. That's going to have that's going to happen next week. So yeah, give number one through eight a try. I'm done. Numbers one through eight. Yeah, come on, Sandy. Just for saying that, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> and 11, 13, and 15. Three odds. One through eight, 11, 13, and 15. 
That's because Xander was all excited. Oh, end of this lesson. 383. 383. And the one